She's your friend. She's dead. No one knows that. We began by exploring the apocalypse through the filter of a family drama, and now that the apocalypse has taken over, it's exploring the family drama through the filter of the apocalypse. That's the shift, and I think that'll be the interesting challenge and fun of season two. It's not your call. I think in season two, I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens to Madison. How's she going to evolve? I want to know more about what her backstory is. I think we'll get some of those answers. The dark past that she has, that she's suppressed, or that she keeps as a secret, is probably going to be the thing that serves her. Madison and Travis, in the face of a world that has gone very cruel and very violent, are they going to be able to remain true to themselves and survive? Will they be able to stay together and survive? Being the world of The Walking Dead, nobody's safe. Nick, for the past six years, has had problems with drugs. He's not going to be able to score so easily in this new world. How will he channel his addictive qualities? We ration those. I think Nick can't be that broken all the time. I'm an addict. Don't sell yourself short. I'm going to require a man with your talents when I make my move. So I hope he's going to find some kind of salvation. Alicia was someone who had a plan. Everything she ever thought she knew or ever thought she would become is just completely being ripped out from under her feet. What happens to a 17-year-old girl when she's suddenly faced with the fact that her boyfriend is probably dead? She's somebody who has to really contend with the idea of mortality. The question comes up of how to maintain your humanity in a world where everything's coming apart. Now that you're faced with the fact that everything you've wanted in your life is not possible, what happens? They're starting to understand that it is about how not to die. Good people are the first ones to die. And I think in the seasons to come, it will really be about what are you willing to do to avoid that. And that, to me, is an interesting thing to explore. We're heading east, the desert. We should be safe there. If not. I would lie if I told you I, I have an inkling of what's going to happen. Go west. What's west? I have a home on the water. At the end of season one, we'll see that there is a glimmer of hope, that there is potential escape with this boat off the coast. What are we going to do on a boat? I have supplies. I'm prepared. I don't think you get more confined than a boat floating around in the ocean. The idea that these guys get on a boat, I think there's a lot that could be done there. Maybe there really is someplace safer. They literally won't tell us anything. Where's Abigail? Do we come across another boat? Do we go to an island? I like the fact that we'll all be together. People go crazy on a boat. The only way to survive a mad world is to embrace the madness. I don't know, man. I don't know. Abigail. I keep asking them, like, where are we going? We don't know where we're going. Maybe Baja. I'm really hoping Mexico, though. Can we go to Hawaii? And they're like, mm, no, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> we'll have to find out in season two.